Hello guys, today I'm going to talk to you about how to install SEO panel. So the first thing that you have to do is just go to Google and search for SEO panel. The first one is the one with SEO panel that in. Just go to download and then download the file. It's a very small file. It's 2.7 megabyte. And after you download it, it's going to be very easy to actually install. Okay. Downloaded it. Now, I won't be needing this and I won't be needing this anymore. Now, you have to go to your um, cPanel, scroll down until you get to file manager and I'm going to install in this domain and I'm going to go to upload, browse, I'm going to browse for the file which is this one. Now, while it's uploading it, I'm going to create a database. Again, on cPanel, go down till you get to MySQL databases. Click on it. Now, give your database a name. So, I'm going to call this one Testing Panel, and I'm going to create a database. Now, you need to have a notepad handy and then copy this Control C Control V go down and then go back now you have to create a username so I'm gonna call the username testing and I'm gonna let the system generate the password for me and then just create the user. Again, I'm going to need this one. Control C. Just going to put user. Control V. Password. And Control C this. Control V. Okay. Now the last piece of the puzzle is to actually associate those two. So you're going to come here. You're going to tell it testing and testing panel and add it. Go to all privileges and make the changes. And then go back. Okay. By now it should have, oh yes, completed. So just close this, you won't be needing that. And in here, just reload the page. Click on it and go extract. Gonna extract everything and it's gonna extract them into an SEO panel folder here. But don't want it installed there. I want it installed in a root folder. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna delete this because we won't be needing it anymore. Then I'm going to go inside that folder, select everything, right click and go move. And in here, just going to go with back space, delete it to here and go move files. Okay, done. Now move one level up and you're going to come here and type in the domain address. It will automatically take you to install folder. Then you go next and in here you're just going to put this information right into these fields. So that one was database name. We're going to go here. We have username which is going to go here. We have password. So it's going to go here. And then 
you just have to type in an email address so if you forget your username and password they can actually send it to you and I'm gonna call this one admin at and go to the next step okay you have to change this file's permission and you have to delete this one so that's easy you're just gonna go to config and it's the third one click on it then click on change permissions take this one off and change permission that's one done going up and click on install and if you remember this is the folder that we actually move the files from so just hold down the control and click on this and then go delete and delete files it's done now go back mm, to this page then delete the install from end of that URL and go there you go you just installed it now a couple of things that you need to do the first thing is change your profile because they give you a username SP admin with a password SP admin so I'm gonna change this to admin and password and password and I'm gonna put a username uh, first name sorry Sam last name and for email and proceed and okay uh, should be 6 and 32 okay not a problem and proceed yes okay done second things that you need to do is set up your cron command so you come here under reports manager and go cron command now to set it up you have to go back to cpanel and then scroll down to the bottom of the page after it's loading and you should see Chrome jobs. Okay. Command here says zero zero star star star. That's exactly what you have to type in here. So it's gonna be zero zero then star 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 and then you're gonna go back here and you have PHP forward slash to the end of it. Control C this come back here control V it I'm gonna double delete that one okay and add a new cron job okay done so you set up your crone you set up this one and uh, this your panel next thing you have to do is add your website so you come here click on add a new website and start typing so I'm gonna go with and then click on crawl metadata it will automatically populate these for me if it doesn't just type them in it doesn't really matter then click on proceed and you have one side added you can add as many sides as you want the second thing that you need to do is go to SEO tools and then keywords manager and add a keyword so I'm um, my keyword is money making on web it's gonna be all languages is for this website it's in all countries and then just select those and go proceed that's it you're done
you can generate a keyboard report and I'm gonna go this one and go that keyboard and only give me Google because I don't want to spend a lot of time on this and done now I can go summary and it's gonna show it and because you set up Chrome job what will happen is every day at midnight server time it will automatically do this check for you it will check your keyword positioning your rank your backlinks and search engine saturation okay I hope this video helps I'm Sam from web uh, I'm Sam from developerscreed.com